Hello and welcome. Today, we will show you how to make a genuine Wiener Schnitzel that's soft as butter on the inside and with the typical golden brown and wavy crust. You will need a few veal schnitzel for this that have already been thinly cut by your butcher, eggs, flour and breadcrumbs for the breading, an oil that can be heated to a high temperature such as sunflower or corn oil, and lemon and butter for flavoring. To ensure the schnitzel are especially tender, place them one by one between two pieces of cling film and pound them a bit thinner using a small saucepan. Be careful, you don't want the schnitzel to tear. Then you season the schnitzel with salt, freshly ground pepper and finely grated lemon zest from an untreated lemon. You will now set up a so-called breading station using three large shallow bowls lined up one after the other. Put some flour and breadcrumbs in the two outer bowls. In the center bowl, whisk the eggs with a bit of mineral water. The water will evaporate during frying and create the typically wavy breading. Carefully turn the schnitzel in the flour, the egg mixture and finally the breadcrumbs. Make sure you press the schnitzel into the breadcrumbs very gently. Heat the oil in a large pan over medium heat. Use enough oil so the schnitzel swim in it. Once the surface of the oil begins to move slightly, lay the breaded schnitzel in the pan and fry for two to three minutes over medium heat on each side until golden brown. It's best if you only turn them once. Move the pan from time to time so the oil goes over the schnitzel as this will make the breading even crispier. Once the schnitzel are done, pour the used oil out of the pan. Melt a piece of butter in the pan over low heat and briefly turn the schnitzel over in it. Place the finished schnitzel on some paper towels to absorb the excess fat and then arrange them on a plate with the traditional slices of lemon. Wiener schnitzel are particularly delicious when served with fried potatoes and a crispy salad. Enjoy!